Tanger 42, copy. We have a report of a fire on 1089 JW Drive. Firefighters just don't walk into a structure that's on fire. There is a lot of dangers associated with going interior. Not to mention the fear of being inside a burning building. I'm bringing an engine company and an ambulance company out of 42. Training with real fire is really important. It gives us a sense of how the fire is going to react. All hands page for structure fire, please. On a real fire, you're really excited. And you got to ingrain those skills deep in so you, you just do them without thinking. That's where that muscle memory comes from. So that fear is more a fear of failing. At Roaring Fork Fire, we don't have our own training facility at the moment. So in order to train effectively with fire, we had to utilize the state burn trailer. It's used for firefighters to simulate structure fires and going interior on a structure fire. We do carry a thermal imaging camera, which is called a TIC. This is our eyes in the fire when we're unable to see when we have a smoke-filled environment. So we can take a look at the structure and locate the seat of the fire and know where to put the water. So they're constantly looking at possible hazards. It's either the ceiling collapse, the building collapse, or the floor collapsing. So firefighters are constantly sounding the floor to make sure it is safe to walk on. Firefighters get killed every year by walking in on structure fires. So having a fire that's controlled and in a safe environment that the firefighters can experience is very vital to their experience and training. It gives us more of a real life scenario versus just sitting around the table and talking about it. All right, good work. And not every fire follows the textbook. That's why having a burn facility or training facility is so important. That's why we do these training. And that's why we signed up. <laughs>